Bet you didn't see this one coming. Republican National Committee Chair Ronna McDaniels has changed her tune about the party's nomination process. After pledging to remain neutral in the 2024 primary, here's what she had to say following Donald Trump's victory in New Hampshire. I'm looking at the math and the path going forward. We need to unite around our eventual nominee, which is going to be Donald Trump. <sighs> <laughs> you know, I remember someone who was once uh, chairman yes. of the RNC being asked similar questions oh. and taking a slightly different talk. Well, yes. And uh, I remember back in the 2010 cycle, uh, reporters, we had a couple of controversial uh, races uh, in Delaware and Utah and a few other places. And reporters asking me, you know, chairman, would you, you know, Intercede? Would you push those uh, congressional races, senate congressional races, congressional races, and senate races? Would you push those candidates out, even some state legislative races? So, and my response is no. Let the process run. Let let it. The voters are going to decide whom they want. It's not on me as national chair to tell a candidate to get out of a race. Um, when that candidate is in a two-person race and by all metrics, did relatively well uh, against the front runner, and and so it, it, to me, this is it, it is. What is she doing though? Explain to me what she's doing. She's doing what Trump here. wants her to do. That's it. Because it's she fears simple. him. Because she fe no. Because she, she was told what to do, and so she's doing what Donald Trump tells her. Look, this is this is the same woman whose name was Rana, uh, Rana Romney, Romney McDaniel. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump didn't like Romney. Told her to take it out. Stop using the name. So yeah, she's doing what Donald Trump told her to do. The party is locked step on this, um, and Nikki Haley has a right right now to make as much uh, good trouble as she can in this primary. Yes, it's an uphill climb for her, but the party has no place or role to tell her to step out. That's her choice, her donor's choice, the voter's choice to help her make, but that's not one the party should should make. Yeah, they and there's one she's probably going to make in about a week or so anyway, because she's Well, exactly. The so it, the process will take Carolina. care of itself. Uh, I just, I, I do think, to your point about, like, well, what is she doing? It just really goes to show how far the pendulum has swung. You know, I, I work for Senator Sanders in 2015, 2016, and there are all kind of qualms that, you know, some of my former uh, colleagues and even some of Senator Sanders supporters from that race have about the Democratic National Committee. Some of them, many of them, I would argue, are incorrect, but I could not imagine, you know, the DNC chairwoman at the time coming out and saying, Senator Sanders, it's time for you to get out of the race. Like, even the Hillary Clinton people at that time would have said, uh, ma'am, that is not something we should be doing here. Right. So it's going to backfire. Yeah. So this is just this is this is so not how it's done, but it goes to just reinforce how this is again. I was also election. there was some interesting alliteration in what you said. Math and the path. Did you right, catch right, that? Right, Where I was right. like, oh, that's like a hard thing to, right. to to get out. Okay, I get the math and the path as it relates to the primary. They are of course choosing to ignore the more important math and path, which is what happens in the general election. Yeah, but you can't get to a general without winning a primary. <laughs> right. And I just think that there are a lot of people that look. I, I I am glad that Nikki Haley has stood up and said, I'm not going to be forced out of here. I think that is lovely. I think, you know, I don't, she's standing on business. I don't know where she's, where the business is going, but she's standing on right. it. But there is just, I don't care what the numbers are between Nikki Haley, what the proverbial numbers are between Nikki Haley and Joe Biden in the general election. Mm -hmm. You got to win a primary right. and Nikki Haley is unable to win a primary here. She's, uh, she may be unable to win a primary, but it is still not the place of the national party Correct. to tell her that she has to stand down from her campaign. That is not their choice to make. And every Republican, every Republican of the 168 members that make up the RNC know that. They know better because if the shoe were in the other foot, they would be screaming foul if someone were telling Donald Trump he had to stand down. So the reality of it is Trump controls this process in the end. That's why we're here right now with the national chairwoman telling Nikki Haley to step out. Okay. Nikki, you continue to do you, right, until you can't do you no longer. Not, not the chairman, director camera. Do you, boo. Do you. <laughs> Some free advice.